We are continuing with the Certified Review Developer Recertification Sample Questions and Answers videos. Please pause the video if necessary and scroll if necessary, then resume when you are ready. Let's begin. This question says, consider the following scenario. You have multiple acquisition loops, which all increment a shared counter. Which of the following is the most appropriate mechanism to share the counter between the loops? The problem here is, since the counter is being shared between multiple acquisition loops, they should be able to update the data. So in this case, this is also this is a question based on racing condition. For example, if you are using the data between different loops, that basically means you need to use certain kind of tag based of communication rather than other type of communication. So that basically means question A is incorrect. Uh, now if you look into option B, C, and D, C does not work very well because C will run into the racing condition. For example, multiple loops would be ready to increment the value, but in that case, you cannot actually get the accurate value. So option C is going to have the racing condition. Similarly, option B will also have the racing condition because although a functional global variable is being used, it says that you are going to read the data and then increment and write the data. So in that case, in multiple loops, you will still run into the racing condition. But the option D is the one we're looking for because it says that a functional global variable with operations to get the current value of the counter and increment the value of the counter. So in this case, the functional global variable will have the increment function built in so that it will be protected from the external code. So when the increment is taking place, all the other codes cannot actually update value and then it will be free from the racing condition. So option D is the right answer. I hope you like this video. I'll see you in the next CLDR question. Please subscribe to this channel and do not forget to turn on the bell icon to be notified for new LabVIEW videos.